What's going on everybody? Miru here with Miru Ecom, back with another video. This time I'm going to go over how to find a winning dropshipping product. Um, this video will be fairly quick because there's not really, you know, crazy secrets. Um, there's just a few characteristics you're going to want to know when looking for a product and uh, let's get right to it. So, you're going to want to have uh, at least three times margins on your product. So if your product costs 10 bucks, you're going to want to be able to sell it for at least 30 because you want to have that cushion there for your advertisement spend. <clears throat> So uh, the other thing that you're going to want is you're going to want to have preferably one of these three things in your product. And there goes my cat again, spam meowing. <sighs> um, so yeah, the first thing you're going to want is high demand. Uh, does the product solve a problem? We're going to go through Google Trends. I'll show you guys how to do that. If you don't know how to already, you can kind of see how many people are searching for it worldwide on Google. And then uh, high demand. Uh, is it a passion product? Something A passion product will be something like uh, golfing or like the gym so like uh, you want to uh, find something that somebody might have a passion for because more people are, are likely to buy something like that uh, you want the product to be unique does it have the wow factor like you know like how you ever scroll down Instagram or Facebook and you see a product and you're like oh wow that's really cool that's what I mean by wow uh, unique it could also mean that it's just a cool slash fun product uh, uh oh what happened there uh, is it trendy? Something trendy like the fidget spinner, my first winning product. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then you're going to want to have low availability, right? You don't want people to be able to get these products in stores because why would they buy it off your store when they can just go get it at Walmart? And that's a bad example because people buy shit on Amazon all the time, but it's different, right? Like it, uh, like they want to think that they can only buy it on your store. That's, that, that's what I mean by that. Uh, minimum competitors, that's kind of hard. Uh, the whole saturation issue, like it kind of doesn't really matter if there's a lot of people selling it. Like the world is a big enough market for everybody to have a small market share. Um, so yeah, uh, it doesn't matter if somebody else is selling your product, you can still make uh, a crazy amount of money selling it. And then uh, new products. So like, that, I guess that kind of goes along with trendy, right? Um, so a perfect example of something that has all of these is the posture corrector. This example is used everywhere. It's probably like the most drop ship product, I think. Um, well, as of recently, I guess. It's kind of like a 2017 till now product. It's kind of dying out now. I wouldn't suggest selling this. And also like people who sell these types of products where like, you know, there's before and after pictures, their Facebook accounts usually get banned, uh, unfortunately, because I don't know. I, I guess Facebook doesn't really want people selling like drop shipping. I guess I don't know. But a lot of people are getting banned for trying to advertise this product, so I wouldn't suggest doing it. Um, just got a text that made me laugh. Um, two ninety nine, four dollars free shipping. Um, it's sold seventy thousand. That's crazy. It's got really good reviews, four point seven, and then uh, and this is a straight off AliExpress, by the way. Uh, and three ninety nine. So the product costs you four dollars. So if you're doing the three times margin rule. You're gonna want the product. Eh, you're gonna to want to be able to sell the product. It's four bucks. You're gonna to want to be able to sell it for at least twelve. But a product like this, you can sell for like twenty or even thirty bucks. Somebody will buy it. So this is the characteristic of a perfect winning product. Solves a problem. You're back. Uh, it's kind of trendy, but it's also wow. Like you know, like I'm always, I'm always slouched. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah. So solves a product. Uh, solves a problem. It's kind of wow, not really, um, it's it's just, it's like, to me it's whatever, but somebody might think it's a wow. And then not easily found in stores, I, before like this year, last year, I was never able to, like you would have never seen these in the store, right? So it was kind of new, I guess, at the time, and whoever hopped on that made a lot of money on it. I forgot while I was recording the video to go through the Google Trends, so I'm going to do that now. So it's basically just trends.google.com. You can just type in Google Trends in the Google search, and it'll take you here. And what you can do is you can search any term or topic or whatever. You can search a phrase, and then it'll tell you uh, the trends over time. So I used the posture corrector before, so let's just type in posture. I'm just going to do that posture corrector. So let's do in the past five years. So in the past five years, as you can see, 20, around 2017, 2018 is when this thing started. I mentioned that earlier. 2017, 2018 is when this thing started to pick up a lot of traction. And then I guess it lost traction. And then I guess, I guess everyone who is, I don't know. There's, there could be a lot of things that explain this uh, increase in traction again over here between August 2019 and December 2019. 
It could be, you know, Christmas, people trying to buy people um, posture corrector products for as presents. It could also be dropshippers seeing that this is a crazy product and they're looking at posture correctors like I'm looking it up right now. Uh, and then it could also just, you know, just be random. You know, people are just looking at posture correctors again. But yeah, as you can see, the trend is dropping again. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of how Google Trends work. You can type in anything in here. Like uh, I, in another one of my videos, I was, t I was showing you guys pet beds. Those things sell like crazy. But yeah, I guess this is, this is uh, yeah, five years. This is kind of, it looks like a seasonal thing too. I'm trying to think of what else is good. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how you use Google Trends. You can see that it, uh, it has high demand by using Google Trends. This is a great um, tool, and I highly suggest that you use it. So, product research methods. Um, the first thing that I would suggest is you could do 50, you could type in 50% off in the Facebook search, and I'll do that for you right now. I already did it because I don't want people seeing the sides of my Facebook because it has all my pages and everything. You'll see my stores. So, yeah, you type in 50% off, you can go to like videos. And then date posted, you can do any date, but then you can also basically just, you can scroll down. Like see this first thing right here, 50% off and free shipping. This product was in November, November. Uh, this was made in November 8th. It has 9 million views, 8.6 million views. I don't even know what this is. Let's, oh, this is the thawing tray, right? So uh, hopefully you guys don't see anything that I need. Okay, yeah. I was scared that you guys were going to see some of my fucking pages there. but Yeah, so this is the thawing, uh, I think, cutting board. So basically you would just throw your steak or whatever on there and supposedly it makes it uh, defrost much faster. Now this is... Actually, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised at the amount of engagement that this had. I didn't think it was that great of a product. But as you can see, whoever was selling this had... like. What happens is if it has that many views and engagement, like people pay Facebook ads for that and you're not really gonna pay Facebook ads for something that you're not profitable on, right? So, God, uh, the ad finished. But yeah, you're not gonna pay Facebook ads for something that you're not profitable on. So something like this is perfect. You know that this guy just put mad money into this. Here, let's take a look at his website. Also another trick, you can take these bit.ly links and you can put it here and put a plus. And you can see exactly how many clicks they got, right? So 55,000 clicks. Um, he kind of stopped advertising as much in December. I guess he had really good traction between November 17th and December 15th. Uh, but yeah, he had 55,000 clicks on that. Now, if you think that... I mean, I don't want to dig too deep into this. I'll do another video on how much money this guy could have possibly made on this product. But yeah, so that was a perfect example right there, right? Like, I just went straight... Uh, I'm flying all over the place. I just went straight into the Facebook search. I typed in 50% off, and the first I, the first thing that came up was a winning product right here. This this thawing defrosting uh, cutting board. So back to this ecom hunt. I talked about this in one of my in the in my video where I show uh, I didn't show my product, but in the video where I said that I made 57k in one month. I'm not going to log into this, but ecom hunt is a great source. It basically every day they throw in new products that they find and uh, you can find good products here. You can categorize it by uh, many different things. So yeah, ecomhunt.com, it's free. And then they also have a pro account where you can get like extra stuff, but the free trial, not free trial, the free account is more than good enough to find a winning product. The posture corrector is on there, by the way, on ecomhunt. The other one is AdSpy. Um, you need to pay for AdSpy. Um, but you can get a free trial. I don't know how I got this free trial online. I don't know how I still have this free trial going because I've done a ton of searches and I still have it. Like, so like, let's do defrosting or cutting board. Let's do a cutting board <clears throat> and see what comes up. So you can see the engagement here on everything. 150 likes, 179 likes. You can filter it by likes. Total likes, let's do anything over 3,000 likes. <clears throat> I need water. One sec. <clears throat> oh, this is another product that I saw. It's basically a cutting board with, um, with, uh, with a scale on it, right? I'm surprised I'm not seeing any of the defrosting one. 
I, I don't know. If I looked hard enough, I could probably find it on AdSpy. But that's another way. If you find a product, you can go on AdSpy. You can kind of see all what like what marketing angles people are using. And yeah, the other way, another way is uh, Turbo Ad Finder. It's actually a Google Chrome extension. I turn it off because it's really fucking annoying when you're not using it. It like keeps giving Facebook errors. But basically, what Turbo Ad Finder does is it hides every post on Facebook except for sponsored posts. So you can just scroll down and all you'll see is sponsored posts. And uh, that's a good way to find uh, products as well because you can sell what other people are selling and you can tell that they're selling it well if it has a lot of engagement because nobody's going to be paying for Facebook ads if they're not making money on them, right? And uh, by the way, just a quick side note, the last comment I have here, like, in, uh, like comment, at, uh, click on shop now, add to cart, initiate checkout for all dropship ads that you see and it'll put you in the Facebook algorithm. You're the type of person that would buy these type of things so they'll start showing you more dropshipping uh, advertisements. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, I guess, wow, that's kind of all I had here. Um, I did want to mention one more thing, right? If I do, like I showed you guys here where this had a shit ton of uh, sales, but when you do find a product, I, I would try to see, I would try to aim for anything over 4.8 reviews and anything over like 5,000 orders, you're gonna know like, wow, that product sold a lot, so it must be a good product, right? And yeah, I think that's all I have to say right now. I'm gonna leave a link in the bio to uh, with some notes on this on the on the video that I just did today, I'm gonna leave a link in the bio with all of the links to these websites, Ecom Hunt, AdSpy, a link to Turbo Ad Finder, and I'm not using affiliate links because I don't really deal with affiliate links. I'm not sure. So yeah, um, yeah. So just go and link in the bio. You can find all these stuff, um, uh, all the stuff that I mentioned in the in that link. I also have a Facebook group. Feel free to join. Uh, with a bunch of dropshippers, it's growing a lot faster than I expected. So thank you to everyone who's joined. And if you did like the content, I mean, I hope it's uh, very beneficial. I wish when I was learning dropshipping that I was able to find somebody uh, who could explain these things to me. So if you are liking the content, please like, comment, subscribe, do you know all that stuff. And uh, I really appreciate it. I hope you get, find my videos beneficial. And if you guys have any suggestions for what... Um, my next video should be just please leave it in the comments and uh yeah feel free to follow me on instagram as well it'll be somewhere around here um so yeah thanks everyone for watching and i hope you guys have a good day